Let's see if I get just right, maybe I can make it look like I finished the office. What's up guys? So, a little quick video, made some progress all around the shop really. Progress in here, got more wood up, got my bad chalkboard wall. So the idea on this is I'm gonna do huge murals on this thing. Well, depends on how, how good I think I am, but if I can make it look good, I'm gonna do huge murals on this thing. If not, I guess the kids will just use it. So the office is getting close. Obviously I got a table to do in here still. And then I've made some of the progress in the lounge space. Got the mini chopper mount made and hung and covered up. So that's the hooks there. It's gonna hold, hold the mini chopper. The axle should sit right there inside that lip. And then maybe you can see, maybe you can't, but it's just gonna hang all the way down. And I've got it set up to where like the center of the front tire will be right in here. Actually drilled some holes in it so I can kind of anchor that thing to the wall. I'm about 90, 90% done with the wiring. Just gotta finish some wiring on this last wall over here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna cover that thing. And I made some progress on the Bibster. I know, it's amazing, ain't it? So I started doing the hot side on the Bibster. Um, got all those pieces cut and fit and kind of tacked together. made a post a while back on Instagram about the tack feature on the Fronius Magic Wave 230i. So I figured I'd take a second, kind of show you what it exactly does. Well, actually, I don't even know what exactly it does, but what it kind of does. So basically, just within this thing, you can go to menu, and you just go right here to tacking, and you can actually select how long you want it to tack. And I just had it like a second. And I've got it set at 77 amps. And then I don't really know the science behind it, but basically what it's gonna do is when you press the pedal, it's gonna kinda pulse. It's gonna kinda give it this flutter. And if you've ever tried to butt weld or butt tack two pieces of metal, you know, occasionally you can get it to work, or most of the time you can get it to work, but sometimes it'll just blow a hole right through that, those two pieces, right, right in the seam. And this actually helps prevent that. That little flutter that it does actually brings the molten metal together. 
helping it tack faster, better, less headache. So I'm over here trying to put this uh, stainless exhaust hot side together for the turbo. And you know, all these are pretty much butt tacked. And it'll even like bridge gaps. So I got a small gap here where the header meets this tubing. And basically I'm just extending this header down to this V-band. I needed to tack it before I take it all loose and weld it. And so a little flutter action gets the job done even when you have a little gap. Let me see if I can set the camera up and kind of let you see and hear what it does. The water cooler is running right now so you may not be able to hear exactly what it sounds like but well maybe maybe I can do it on this V-band kind of give it a run you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about here here exactly what I'm talking about so there you go basically the tack function on the magic wave 230i the v-band that little flange itself wasn't a critical spot I mean you could easily tack that without using the tack function but you can kind of hear it and understand what it's trying to do when it's kind of giving you that flutter right and it works really really well so i'm sure there's some kind of rocket science behind it that i don't know about but in the basic, the most basic form, basically, it makes the arc itself kind of flutter, which brings that puddle together, even if there is kind of a small gap. As simple as that sounds, or as simple as it is, it's amazingly useful. You may have also noticed that I kind of moved the shop around, so, you know, the idea was not to have stuff all down the center of the shop. I want to put a big, big logo right in the center. And so I kind of moved some stuff around, got the, got the goose and my new C10 over in the corner, which is kind of where I want it. Probably modify those posts at some point just to give myself a little more space. And I don't think I mentioned either that I figured out a name or I found a name for the new C10, Caliente. Maybe I did mention that. I don't remember any, anymore. It's all blending together. Anyways, I know I'm not showing you much detail on the shop build. I'm gonna do a full video on that. I'll actually kind of go back over some of these things and yeah, this is supposed to be a Bibster video. I'll do a shop build video later. It's all coming together, fellas. Slow, but surely. Maybe at some point I'll have be fully functional out of here and I can just crank out the videos. Anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys more this week. Go do work, son.